fellows. I, I think I might have taken it a little too far this time. <laughs> Uh, hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is uh, by far my most ridiculous haul ever. And I know uh, I was uh, actually made fun of the other day by Colin at Halo Podcast Evolved because he was like, Simon, you can't keep on calling every haul your largest haul ever, the greatest haul ever, my most epic one yet. Yeah, I can if I keep on topping myself. <laughs> and this, this is borderline insanity. First of all, the person I bought this from, I want to give a big shout out to. Uh, I'm not going to name drop him because I don't want him just spammed with messages asking for more stuff. I pretty much cleared out his collection and all of this will be going towards me doing a big resale on Friday on Facebook Marketplace to help fund the rest of my USA travels. Big shout out to him and the biggest shout out of all to the, the sheer organization of this stuff. Look at it. Everything is in beautiful bags, super organized, no pieces are going to be missing, uh, and like everything is color coordinated, even down to those beautiful gold figures. Mwah. Really, what today is going to be, in some way, shape or form, me organizing all of this in, an, in, in a way that I can display it to then sell it all on Friday. Not sell it all. There is gonna be a select amount of stuff that I keep myself, and I am going to be offering first dibs on a lot of this stuff to my patrons because they are supporting me throughout so much of my life right now. But yeah, the Facebook Marketplace listing will go live on Friday alongside a video announcing the exact time that it'll go live. So, I'm gonna take a quick siesta, don't know about you. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the other side, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's absolutely outrageous. So over two live streams yesterday, as of the day of recording this, we unboxed all of this, and now I'm gonna try and display it all in, uh, yeah, in, in some kind of logical fashion. I'm also gonna be running down the highlights, showing off the best figures to camera. I'm gonna try and go between time lapses to like addressing stuff on this camera. So let's just see what happens with this video. Hopefully, we're gonna have some beautifully displayed Halo by the end of this. Let's check it out. Let's go. All right, so what you've been seeing so far, folks, is um, organized chaos. I think I'm pretty on track of it, uh, even just after like five, 10 minutes. Basically, I would be set back weeks if this wasn't all individually bagged, but thank the absolute stars above it is. I'm starting to organize. Obviously, I got my sealed sets over there. I've got the pre-built sets, like the AA Gun versus Rocket Hog, the original Wraith, the Hornet versus Covenant Watchtower. Got all those sort of pre-assembled. Um, then I'm sort of organizing into vehicles over here. I got a pile of random like armory pieces and base plates and fire team bases, things like that. Big stack of drop pods over here, which I could not be more happy with. I'm gonna be keeping some of those. Bucket full of Halo heroes. Things like Decimus, Jackal Freebooter, Hyperius, rarer things like Sergeant Forge, we've got Spartan Linda, we've got the 10th anniversary Didac. I estimate about 30 already are in there. There should be about 48 in this big pile up, maybe 40. Assorted figures, so much stuff, and a lot of alt builds from the last two years as well, pre-assembled. Feeling pretty good, feeling a little confident. Maybe the cockiness will be my downfall. Let's find out. Okay, things are going pretty well, folks. Uh, we're, we're getting uh, actually a really fast move on. Again, just these, these bags. Ha, I love the bags, uh, but no, we're moving fast. First of all, I mentioned in the previous narrated section that we have a lot of alt builds, and that's really exciting because I've never been able to make any videos on the alt builds because I've simply not had the time, sometimes the resources to make the alt build as well. So it's really great to be able to see the alt builds for some of these sets. So for example, we've got the chopper takedown and the alt build, the shade turret alt build, wasp, Onslaught on uh, off build, off build, uh, uh, alt build. <laughs> the wasp on, the wasp onslaught alt build. Yeah, it's really cool to see. And then uh, I just needed to just uh, give you a little rundown of this box. Mm -hmm. Fire Team Osiris and Blue Team, just exceptional. Except the paint application on this book is 
nightmarish. Oh, bug. No. Not good. Not good. Uh, but the fire team, Osiris, and blue team, really excited to build. Full of new articulation figures. There are a few old articulations, but very sparsely found in here. Blue Spartans, yellow Spartans, Marines, bag full of elite times two. One, two, three bags of grunts. In my eyes, the true Billy the Grunt. Beautiful. Beautiful, Billy. Beautiful. Green and white Spartans. And a few bags of gummy figures. Gummies for days, honestly. Just like, that's a, that's a lot of gum. Bag of brutes, or two bags of brutes. And an assorted amount of Spartans, including, I've been looking for this for a while, the Stormbound Agent Lot Hunter Spartan. These two make a really good pair. And if it couldn't get any better than that, you think, Simon, it couldn't possibly get any better than that. You're lying to me. You're just straight up lying. Why would you lie to your fans? <laughs> two Kellys, man. Yes. Yeah. Straight out of the Faithful versus Fallen. Noble Six, Carter, and George. Divine intervention here. Divine intervention. So the next stage of this plan, ladies and gentlemen, is basically just building up some of these sets. But first, Fire Team, Osiris, and Blue Team. I can't wait any longer to see Blue Team in full display, so we're gonna build these up first. Let's time lapse this. Smoothly. Also, I want to give a big shout out to the fact that my life has been changed forever as a videographer. Now I have a flip mirror so I can see what I'm recording on my Fujifilm. You don't know how important that is to me. This is like the first time I've ever been able to film something and know for sure that I'm in focus and that it's recording and everything else. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Three key sets from like the history of Mega Bloks. The AA Gun versus Rocket Hog. This is a really beautiful thing. I, you know, I buy and sell um, massive amounts of Mega Blocks, especially when I'm in England. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was uh, was was case in point. <laughs> the battery died on my camera, and traditionally, I would have just kept on recording, not knowing that it had stopped. But thankfully, this mirror showed me the way. All right, the AA gun. A set that, to be honest, I never really come across when I'm buying and selling in England. Like, it's it's a really Beautiful thing to see again. I obviously have one in my uh, collection, but I haven't had it displayed in many years. Great to be building one up. It's no, there's no dust. And also, this is something that people don't really, I don't really see people talk about in the community. Reverse engineering is so fun. Like getting a bag with half assembled, broken apart sets and reassembling them based on like, laws of symmetry. I built this Wraith and the Red Hornet and Watchtower without the instructions because I built it so many times. You gotta respect where you came from, you know. As I've said in dozens of videos before, this is my favorite set ever made. Like, I think this is the best set that Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs have ever made. You get a fully red, non-canonical Hornet with a red Hayabusa, red pilot, and then a Jackal with a red shield. It just, it, mm, it all pops together beautifully. We're gonna work through some of these bags quickly now. Most of this is, uh, you know, 99% built already. So I'm gonna storm through this for a little bit longer. Then I'm gonna tackle some of these alt builds. One thing in particular that I wanted to show you guys is this. This is the Warthog from the Warthog Rally. The, no, no, the Warthog Run. I didn't know this was actually in here. When I saw the pit 
pictures from the guy I was buying it from, I thought this was just uh, another Warthog uh, rally. Comes with the Arbiter. I don't know where the Master Chief is, but it definitely comes with this Halo 3 Arbiter in all gold. Gorgeous. We've never seen anything close to this kind of battle damage. This is really gorgeous. Um, it's got way more printed detailing. It's got colored seats. It's a very wide Warthog, got a wide berth to it, but I mean. So big added bonus, I think. Let's head on with the time lapses. tell you, um, most of these sets are quite easy to construct. I've done a lot of them before and a lot of straightforward. This one sucks. Don't like this Banshee. Very difficult to reverse engineer, even straight after I praised uh, reverse engineering being so much fun. This Banshee, on the other hand, the Banshee Breakout, super easy. No issues. Bit of a skeleton build. Honestly, it's cool comparing Storm Covenant to Banished side by side. I think the Storm Covenant wins out on a few different aspects here, particularly the printed detailing. I can barely see my face because this camera is so low down. We did the chopper, we did the turret versus mongoose, and a banished ghost. This obviously being the easiest of all the builds, this thing is just basically nothing. We fell quite far with this ghost, I think, but the new, uh, what's it called? Ghost of Requiem, that one's gonna build it back up again. I, th I got really high expectations for that one. These ones were pretty dang easy, uh, no complaints here. Flood Infected Cyclops, always just an absolutely beautiful build. I have so much appreciation. I don't see people appreciating this guy enough. He's he's the absolute top dog. The Mongoose, uh, that, that's gonna come with a meal. Three power packs. This one in particular, the health pack, I've never got this one before. And it has the dreaded pizza gun. I told Kellen that when the pizza gun was announced in Halo 5, everyone said, oh, Halo's dead, everyone's lost their minds, and Kellen said, why are people so soft? And you know what? I agree. <laughs> the pizza skin is is whatever, you know? You hate it, you love it. I don't care. Then we've got the Jewel and Dharma Ghost times two. We only got one Jewel and Dharma in this haul, but we do at least have two ghosts. The masterpiece, the Wasp Onslaught. This is something, I've still got to see if I'm in focus. This is something that I really, uh, yeah, I didn't get for a long time because of the price point, but I like it. I gotta say, the cockpit particularly is very impressive and these spinning turbines, I especially love how one of the turbines has a translucent orange while one has translucent yellow. So like one's burning out, running over time. Although the base is very lackluster, the actual design is really exceptional. They've uh, they've innovated a lot. Now we're gonna hit the interesting part, which is the alt build. Cause I've never built any of the alt builds before, apart from maybe the Banshee. Oh no, the Skiff Intercept is my favorite alt build. Let's see what I can make of it. Golly, ain't that the most Haloist lot of Halo you ever did see in your life? I, I actually, I thought I'd do another segment, another talking segment earlier than this, but I just kept on going, man. Like, everything was just so well organized. I had my laptop there with the instruction manual at all times, and it just went so smoothly. It's only about noon in America, and I've already finished. Like, pretty much finished. I've done all the construction elements, and, uh, oh man, it's really exciting. We've got pretty much all the alt builds I was talking about. We do 
have a complete Promethean fire team, which is exciting. Those five gold figures from the 20th character pack, that's just an amazing addition. Like, just so awesome to have that alongside everything else. We've got all of the display pieces for like so many fire teams, the Covenant lands. We've got one of the Storm Covenant fire teams, two fire team shadow bases. I don't think the figures for all of these are there. I mean, they might be, but we've definitely got the displays. It's going to be exciting to see if we can find the figures to complement full fire teams. That would be really dope. Then we've got a lot of the alt builds. I've never actually built this before and I was uh, I was really excited to just get it in my hands. This little uh, Master Chief jetpack. I always thought it was so cute. The Razorback alt build. Exceptional. We've got three exosuits here, but uh, I don't have the figures for inside them yet. Maybe they're somewhere. Maybe they're not. Four of these helmets. Good to see two of the infection helmets. The escape and the capture the flag. The wasp onslaught. Flood cyclops. Oh man. There's just so much. And even some micro builds. We've got the wasp. we got the phantom. The forward unto dawn and the pelican. I'm so impressed. I am absolutely so impressed. Especially like, and I'll say this a few times in this video. Usually when I get a haul, it takes at least a week, maybe two weeks to build it all together. Because it's all just rubble inside big boxes. But this was so well organized. Literally saved me about two weeks. The next objective is the drop pods, this big mound here. Once we've got them collected up and built, we're then gonna tackle the bucket full of Halo heroes. And then we're pretty much done for the day. Let's roll out. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been quite a journey. That's a lot of Halo. That's the most Halo I've seen on the table in a couple of months. <laughs> no, but it's the most new articulation and newer product, uh, particularly of the past five years that I've worked with in a hall for a long time. Again, when you're buying from England, it's all just old school mega block sets, even though they were a joy to build, particularly the AA gun. Highlights of this haul, definitely all these drop pods. Uh, there's a couple of these I don't have personally because the drop pods or the new articulation drop pods released while I was living in China. Four buildable helmets, great. Fire Team Osiris and Blue Team. And also, oh, I forgot to mention, just all the figures you could ever possibly need. Just absolutely loads of them. Probably close to about 200. I need to do a final count. Just an absurd amount of them. So that's gonna be pretty exciting to get underway with. I'm gonna sign it off for today because I gotta, uh, well actually, I'm gonna try and edit this. I'm recording this as of Tuesday. I'm gonna try and edit this and release it or schedule it for releasing on Wednesday. I'm feeling confident. I wanna get the ball rolling. There'll be more information about my Facebook Marketplace sale coming out uh, later in the week. Thank you so much for the support as always, folks. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Really good, uh, really good week for the domain. So I'll see you in the next video. The Brute Bodyguard is signing off.